Um, I'm Marley Renfro. I usually tell people that um, I'm not famous, but I did something famous. I was uh, Janet Lee's acting body double in the shower scene of Psycho. I got into show business. I started out, uh, I did a lot of pinup modeling. Anyway, working with uh, one of the photographers, uh, Mario Caselli, he, he said, uh, they're looking for a model or something like that at uh, Universal Studios. So he gave me the name of uh, who to contact, and I was interviewed by uh, uh, Mr. Hitchcock, and I had to disrobe, and then uh, took me into uh, Janet Lee's, uh, I guess she was in her dressing room or trailer, wherever, and I had to disrobe for her, because I, uh, our bodies were very similar, and I think that's the reason that I, uh, I got hired for that. Working with Mr. Hitchcock, uh, he knew exactly what he wanted with every shot. Uh, Saul Bass uh, did the uh, storyboard, and just about, just about every uh, camera angle uh, was already uh, on paper. But uh, where we definitely had to do a second take is when um, uh, Tony Perkins has pulled me out of the shower and is, has wrapped me up in the shower curtain. Well, he reaches down to pick me up and he gets me up about six inches and bang, lets me go because uh, he didn't have his body, you know, set to, because I was dead weight. So that was the second take on that. Then he takes me out and uh, to, uh, dumped me in the uh, trunk. That was an uncomfortable one because uh, they just had a, uh, it was just metal at the bottom of the trunk. They didn't have a, a blanket or anything like that. So he dumped me in there and it, to me it was a bang. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I enjoyed working with him. Good, you satisfied with your cabin? About two or three weeks after I, I finished Psycho, this is in December of uh, 59, um, Playboy uh, contacted me and they flew me to Chicago where I shot uh, uh, the cover of uh, September 1960. It's when Psycho came out and my roommate, she says, um, oh, Psycho's out, let's go see it. And I thought, oh, how boring. <laughs> I saw a lot of it being filled, it's really, you know. But she says, come on, let's go, so we did. It scared me half to death, I really was surprised, I mean, really surprised. I just love Psycho. So many people come up to me and they just have to tell me the experiences that they had when they, when they uh, uh, saw the movie. Uh, some uh, wouldn't take a shower for months or even years afterwards. Some, to this day, still lock the door. I once made a movie. It was intended to cause people to scream and yell, but I was horrified to find that some people took it seriously. This, this new movie that I'm in, a little bit, I have some cameo shots. It's called 7852, a full-length documentary. And this is the first time it's ever happened. It's, it's a movie completely based on one scene from another movie. And that scene is the shower scene of uh, the original Psycho. And it's, and the impact it has had on our society. In every aspect of our society, it's amazing. The film premiered in uh, this, uh, uh, this year's uh, Sundance uh, Film Festival in January, and uh, I was there for that. And I, I remember thinking, I have got to watch this several times because there's just so much information. It's just, it is, it's amazing. It touches all aspects of our life, even comics and, and uh, cartoons. Just, it's really amazing.